Well, the first thing I did was put just a little bit of mousse in these eyebrows. And uh, I'm combing the beard out of the way. So you see they're pointed straight forward in the uh, direction we want them to be in when we're done. I've already done some stripping on her head. I'm going to move to the other side here for a second. And the first thing we're going to do is finish this little area between her eyebrows. It's, this is a small bitch, so this is as wide as you want. Hers is a thumb's width. Actually, a thumb's width is good for almost every dog except a large male, or you might want it a little bit wider. So we just gently clear that. It's not clippered, or it's not scissored to the skin. It's just a soft trim. Then we're going to go in under the front of the eyebrow and clear that little path there. Same on the other side. to separate the eyebrow from the hair on the muzzle. This dog's already had her eyebrows trimmed at one point, but we're going to shorten them a little bit. It's been about a month or so since I did them. Okay, I'm going to go to the other side again. So the, what we do is an S curve. I'm going to go straight across there. And then halfway, Ava, stay. Halfway down the eyebrow, we change direction. And we go downward. We want this line to go in a smooth S curve that starts at the tip. It kind of frames the eye and then drops to a line where it meets the zygomatic arch. This part here is stripped, this part is clippered. So it's that's our first cut. I'm just going to get the stragglies out of there. Now I'm going to go underneath and wedge this a little bit underneath to take out the excess. And we're going to do a little more here to clean this line up. So there's the before and after. You can see the S, gentle S curve. It's not an exaggerated thing. And then I'll just take this area under her beard, wedge that with the scissors so that this forms like a wishbone effect. There's a line here and another line there. And they meet back here. That's where her eye is, so you can see the position. And as you'll notice, this eyebrow, the longest hair, is growing off the most prominent part of her skull. There's no dip. We don't strip all this soft stuff out so that your eyebrows are white. If we do that, we end up with a big hollow back here and the dog's head begins to look apple-headed and round and your eyebrows will then start sprouting up as soon as you take the comb away. So that's the secret to keeping the eyebrows in place is the trim and the set on of where the brow is. See, so as you can see, the, the top of the eyebrow is right off the top of the head coat. And it's the same for the other side. So once we've done that side, we're going to do the same on the other side. Making the match as close as possible. Don't freak out if you make a small error. It's, uh, it's an art. And hair grows back. One thing you should do, though, is ensure that you, once you've decided you're going to cut, get in there and cut it. Don't waste time because you are dealing with sharp edges and a dog's eye. So you don't want to be waving the scissors around or poking. Get in, trim, and get out. So that's, that's a rough trim. Um, if this area puffs up too much, we just thin it a little bit with thinning shears and combing until it blends into this top skull. So you can see there's no distinct line. This is wire coat and the wire is blended right into the side of the eyebrow. Um, after I spray it, um, I might do a little bit more detailed trimming, but that's the basics of your eyebrow.